When properly landscaped, fences can serve as much more than a utilitarian feature. The use of plants to disguise an unsightly fence or to create visual unity within a garden is a common gardening practice. The vertical space created by landscaping along the fence line, however, can add an entirely new dimension to an outdoor area. Avoid dry conditions by watering the plants regularly and digging in some well-rotted manure at least once a year. These are the best six plants for lining your fence and making your yard look nicer. Number one, ivy. Ivy can be found almost anywhere. Because it has aerial roots, it can scale a fence without any help. It will form a wall of foliage, providing privacy, and it blooms in the spring and bears fruit in the winter, making it a great choice if you need a low-maintenance privacy fence. Although it spreads aggressively, it is easy to prune it back so that it stays neat and within a few feet of the fence. Climbing ivy, as opposed to creeping ivy, should be used. Ivy can survive in USDA plant hardiness, zones 5 through 11. Number 2. Morning Glory. This twining plant is a good option if you need a fast-growing hedge to cover a fence line. There are clear blue flowers on it from the middle of summer until the beginning of fall, and the leaves are shaped like hearts. Mornings are peak bloom time and afternoons are when the flowers close up shop. It can reach a height of 10 feet in just one growing season and thrives in direct sunlight. There's no need to trim it back, but you should get rid of the seed pods to keep it from taking over your neighbor's garden. Hardy in zone two to eight. Number three, climbing roses. One of the best climbing roses can transform an otherwise boring fence into a colorful and attractive vertical backdrop. Fast growing and thornless, the Rosa Vanksy Ludia bears clusters of tiny, golden yellow flowers once a year. If allowed to thrive, it has the potential to reach a height of 30 feet. Rambling Rector, with its fragrant, creamy flowers, is a good choice for a fence line in a large garden. A strong wooden or wire trellis secured to a fence is necessary for climbing roses to reach their full potential. Hardy in USDA zones 9 through 11, these shoots need to be tied or tied in with garden ties every 20 inches. Number 4. Hydrangea. Get serious about learning how to grow hydrangeas if you want a stylish fence line shrub. They won't hide a pretty painted fence, but rather highlight it with their large palm palm heads and bold leaf shape. Hydrangeas require consistently moist soil, so make sure it doesn't dry out. Mulch in the spring or fall to give your plants a hydration boost. Flowers tend to be blue when grown in acidic soils and pink when grown in neutral soils. These plants will survive in zones six to seven. Number five, cherry laurel. Cherry laurel is a popular choice for dense garden screening because of its ability to conceal an unsightly fence while providing a calming, earthy backdrop for the rest of the backyard. It's not the most fascinating plant, but it's hardy, requires little attention, and does well in both full sun and partial shade. It only requires a trim once or twice a year, in the late winter or early spring, depending on how meticulously you like to keep it looking. It matures at a height of 16 feet, grows 12 to 24 inches per year, and can be pruned as severely as desired. This range of hardiness makes these plants suitable for planting in zones five through nine. Number six, Fetinia. If you need to hide an unsightly fence, but want more than just plants, try a Fetinia Red Robin. It is evergreen, but the bright red leaves it displays when it first sprouts up give the fence line a real jolt. Any type of moist, well-drained soil is suitable, but it does best in a sheltered location with full or partial sunlight. To maintain its slim form, prune in the spring or summer, but wait until mid-August to make any further cuts. 
The tania can be grown in USDA plant hardiness zones 7 through 9. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.